Now, the, the scripture says, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that was weak through the flesh, God sent his own son in the likeness of saving flesh that was sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the, the righteousness of the law may fulfill in them that walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Now, this tells us about three laws. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, which means that you, in, Christ, in Christ Jesus means you must be born again, then you must be led by the Spirit. Because the Bible says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the ones that are the Son of God. Then two, talk about the law of sin and death. When you disobey God's law, disobey the voice of the Spirit, then you are walking in the law of sin and death. That God, the wages of sin is death. Then it talks about what the law could not do. That was talking about the Old Testament law, which as you know, they tried to fulfill, but the flesh was weak, so therefore they couldn't fulfill it. Therefore, when you are born again and led by the Spirit, then you fulfill that law. And when you're walking by the Spirit, you're walking by what the voice of the Holy Spirit has told directly to do, or you're walking by the, what Jesus has told you to do. And doing that makes you walk in the law of the Spirit. And law of God always tend to love, and that's how you know it's God's law. So if you're not born again, give your life to Christ while you can be a candidate of enjoying the benefit of being led by the Spirit of God. So I'll see you again. God bless.